In this tutorial, we will be taking a closer look at the Applications menu found in the upper menu bar. The default desktop environment in Ubuntu Linux is the GNOME desktop environment, and the GNOME desktop environment places its menus in the upper half of the screen, similar to the Macintosh. As you can see, in the upper left-hand corner, there are three words, all, each of which represent a menu. There is the Applications menu, there is the Places menu, and there is the System menu. The Applications menu is the default main menu of the GNOME desktop environment. It is similar to the Start menu found in the lower left-hand corner on Windows. In this menu, you will find all of the applications that are installed on the Ubuntu system. Actually, this menu will contain most of the applications. There are certain programs and commands and applications that are run in the background or run in the terminal or on the command line, which may not be represented in this menu. But this menu contains the, the bulk of the applications that are installed and, and should contain all of the, of the graphical-based applications, that is, the applications that can be used in the GNOME desktop environment. As you can see, this applications menu is broken down into several subcategories. The first subcategory is entitled Accessories. Now, the Accessories submenu uh, contains several different applications which are, as the name implies, accessories to the main system. The first one is the Archive Manager. The Archive Manager is the application uh, that, that helps the user uh, unzip or zip programs or unpack programs that may be downloaded from the internet. It's sort of like a WinZip on Windows. Uh, it's, it's, it's an archiving program that allows uh, the user to archive an application or, or, or a piece of software or unarchive. The calculator is the next accessory, and that's uh, fairly self-explanatory. The character map is a little application that allows uh, the user to see all the different keys on the keyboard and how the keys are uh, represented or how different different characters are represented by different keys. The dictionary is also pretty self-explanatory. It's a little graphical dictionary. The disk usage analyzer is a little application that shows the amount of free disk space on the hard drive or hard drives that are on the system. Take screenshot is, is an application that allows the user to take a screenshot of the, of the main desktop or a window in the desktop and save it as a, as a graphical file. The terminal is an application that uh, can be uh, uh, fairly important for users who wish to advance beyond using the main graphical environment of the known desktop, and that is the subject of another tutorial. And then finally, the text editor is sort of similar to Notepad or WordPad in Windows. It's a very basic uh, text editor. Uh, it does not have any, any major word processing capabilities, but it is a very simple to use and, and easy to use application. The next subcategory in the Applications menu uh, is one entitled Games, and as you can see, it contains uh, a dozen or so different different games that come with the desktop environment, many more of which can be uh, uh, downloaded and installed later on. The next uh, sub-menu is one called Graphics, and Graphics, uh, by default, contains uh, four applications. The F-Spot Photo Manager, which is an application that allows a user to manage and organize pictures, and, uh, and photos that, that can be transported from, from a camera. Uh, the GIMP image editor is a fairly complex piece of software, sort of similar to Adobe Photoshop. It allows uh, the user to manipulate images and graphics in, in a variety of ways. Uh, the GThumb image viewer is a very simple uh, program that allows one just to uh, take a quick look at images or pictures. It doesn't have any real cataloging or tagging or ways to organize photos like FSpot does, but GThumb is a very simple and easy to use program. And then the Xsane Image Scanner is a piece of software to allow one to, to manage a, a scanner that is attached to the system. The next submenu is entitled Internet, and this has five applications by default. The Akiga Soft Phone is a client for uh, VoIP or Voice over IP applications. Evolution Mail is a very full-featured email client uh, similar to Microsoft Outlook. It is not a small application. It's, it's intended to be wide in scope like Outlook. In other words, it has, uh, of course, mail and a calendar and a to-do list and tasks and, and things like that, very much like Outlook does. Uh, the next one is, of course, the Firefox web browser, fairly self-explanatory. 
Uh, the next application is Game Instant Messenger, and that is an instant messenger client that has the ability to operate on many different protocols, so it's very handy. It allows one to, to talk on uh, or to chat via MSN or Yahoo or AIM or uh, many other protocols. And then the terminal server client is sort of a remote desktop connection type of client that allows a user to connect to Windows PCs and other PCs over the Internet using some, some type of uh, VNC or remote desktop type of connection. The next submenu is Office. And uh, this uh, menu contains five applications. It's really it's really two. It's just that they're broken out. The first one is another link to Evolution, the same email client found under the Internet submenu. And then there are four icons for the four different main applications in the OpenOffice.org Office Suite. The first application is similar to Microsoft Access. It's supposed to be a database, a very easy to use database. The next one is Presentation, and uh, it's a sort of a slideshow type of type of application. Um, uh, the next one is Spreadsheet, similar to Microsoft Excel. And the last one is Word Processor, uh, similar to Microsoft Word. The last submenu is Sound and Video. And this contains five applications. A movie player, it's called Totem, and it allows one with some additional software that must be installed to view DVDs or videos downloaded from the Internet. Uh, Rhythmbox Music Player is, is a music jukebox type of software, sort of similar to iTunes. The Serpentine Audio CD Creator allows one to rip and, and burn uh, audio CDs. Uh, Sound Juicer is another uh, CD burning or, or CD ripping type of application. And then Sound Recorder allows one to use a, a microphone attached to the system to record voice or other sounds. Now, there's one more entry in the Applications menu, and it's the Add Remove icon. It's not a submenu. It's an item in and of itself, and it is the subject of another tutorial. But basically, this is a way to add software that can be downloaded from the Ubuntu servers and other locations on the Internet to add additional software to your system. So that is a summary of the Applications menu available in the GNOME desktop environment on Ubuntu Linux. Thank you very much.